Good kitten internet. I have a really nasty headache, so I apologize if I'm a little quieter than normal. Also, I'm not going to wear the headphones because that's probably going to exacerbate things. So, where we last left off, a lot of things have happened. Um, just double checking. I think I remember last time making sure that I had paid off everything that I could for the version part. Yeah. I have 250 gala to my name. Okay, um, we actually don't have anywhere we need to be plot-wise yet. Uh, the last thing that happened plot-wise, if I remember correctly, sorry, it's been like a week and a half since I last played. Also, I keep sliding over to the wrong side. I should probably just use the green screen behind me, but it's so much effort and whatever. Anyway, um, last thing that happened, the Quarter Knights basically went, Oogie Boogie, we don't like Mother, I'm glad you helped us, we're still gonna kill you all. So, but hey, at least the planet will survive. Maybe. So, um, we are still a little sequence broken because um, I believe we had checked right before last time by going up to St. Centaur that everything was still happy here. Yep, everybody's still here. Wait. So we're going to continue to neglect St. Centaur just to see just how long I can pull this off for. Um, I'm just, you know, sorry, usually I have the setup where I can do multiple things at once. Something telling me that I've paid my credit card bill. There we go. Okay. Um, first thing I want to do is, doing that, uh, break out of the inner sea. That is down here. A little too far. This yard, right? Yeah. Uh, so a rule of thumb for the game is that you should always check yard every so often. Um, the reason being that throughout the game you'll start seeing shipwrecks that leave behind stuff. I don't think we have anything right now that's the big deal. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, usually it's plot based, so we're not gonna see anything for a bit. How have you been? Um, in this case, this is September 3rd that I'm recording this. It's the day before my birthday. I took the 3rd and the 4th off of work, mostly because I wanted to. I've been quite stressed lately. Definitely use the relaxation time. Not a lot of stress I've been because I have a nasty headache. I'm on the other side of the yard. I need the golem to cross there, and I can't summon the golem. It go everywhere I could. I didn't actually mean to say run away. I meant to say auto battle, but oh well. It works. No. So, must be on the other side of the yard. No, I could actually just look at the map. Yes, it's on the other side of the yard. That's right, because it's by, um... The town? Yeah, because Milma is the other snobbish place. You know what? If I'm gonna be going through... I'll call it, um, the next area... I should just not set up auto battle because random encounters in the outer sea are much nastier. So you leveled up, so that's nice. I'm wondering if I should just move the camera where I stop hitting this. Teardrop shine. That's right, we couldn't enter here until we had the teardrop back. Teardrop is transmitting thoughts of the Guardians. Very faint, though. Can't seem to link up with it. Just knew the name of the Guardian who was trying to contact us. Really? We know the name of the Guardian. You won't let me through? What? What? We've been told the name. 
heck, we were told the name on the sweet candy. Okay, um, uh, not sure where we're supposed to go then. Let's go back to this town because this town's close to it and there's a chance that they might say it here. I thought the next thing that we were going to be doing was go to the outer sea. Maybe not. You can't tell I'm not looking at a walkthrough or anything. Mostly because I've sequenced broken part of the game. Things don't quite make sense anymore. Uh, stop flashing me, please. Yeah, I don't care. Let's just be busy. Do I have anything? Nope, you're just saying you're busy. I have reduced parry and I still counter attacked. Nice. Alright. We have some problems here right now. Remember that this used to be the happy go lucky town. Oh, so maybe things actually have changed here. Ah, crap. If I want to use radar, I need to actually use headphones. Ah, the Guardian's mad at the town. The Guardian of the Oceans is angry. We must regain our faith. Yeah, the Guardian of the Oceans is angry because you all are snobbish bastards. All oh, the flowers of the Elu girl is growing. They're beautiful. Why is our green world diminishing? It actually answers that question, by the way. And it's not climate change. Although it is for some of them now that I think about it. You know why the sea cities along the inner sea are more developed than the other cities? The outer ocean is has such treacherous monsters that no one wants to live there. When in doubt, we'll loop them up. Yeah, the people in this town are still wrong. Who would have thought? Wise words from somebody. Let me know if you know of any change. Yeah, but the way you prevent crime is not by trying to find people acting strange. The way you prevent crime is by reducing poverty for one. I desperately needs to do that reduction. Yes. Where the Guardian of the Oceans, Lucata, lives. See, we were told this early. That's why I'm confused. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Reports of dragon attacks. You back again? Yes. What do you want? Don't mess with me. Rude people in this town. Go say hi to our friend. I don't know if she has anything new to say, but we should go say hi anyway. I guess I'll plug in my headphone and at least do a quick ping. Oh, headphones are already plugged in. Okay, nothing. Ah! As I knock my glasses down. Stupid short arms. There we go. I usually don't bother wearing glasses for this because um, computers are at the distance that my vision's practically perfect for. So I don't really need my glasses for anything. Father was looking for you. Not that I have anything to do with it. Busy town, this place. I don't think there's actually a dragon in the sea. Oh, I know what they're talking about. We're at the point of the game where we start seeing a lot of the optional content. Hey, Mariel. Thank you. All I can do is give you these flowers. Every time we visit from now on, we can get a small flower from her. The flower Mariel grows is simple, yet somehow profound. Coincidentally, uh, yesterday the other video with Mariel went up, and yes, we will in fact have a Mariel avatar in the top left hand corner, but not yet, and you'll understand why when we get to that point of the game. Please move out of the way. No church here? It just dawned on me that I was going to go cure Flash for free. I don't think there's a church in this town. Eh. 
I don't care that much about Flash. All right, now I think we can go to the Guardian. I don't know if I've ever actually been to Guardian without going to Rosetta Town first. Hmm. I should do a Let's Analyze video on... Oh, now it's finally zooming in. Uh, let's analyze video on random encounter rate. Alright, your drop shot. I guess I'm gonna have to put this on. Wow, this is incredible. Lucata, the guardian of the ocean, is contacting me through the teardrop. So strong, I can feel it with my entire body. Remember before it was weak? I, I don't get it, whatever. It's saying. I understand. I'll use the teardrop. Uh, what's going on, princess? Wowee! What is this? The mysterious spot? Or the mysterious spot? I, I don't get the reference of mystery spot. Shut up, pedo pants. And shoved underwater. Here's our obligatory underwater dungeon. Why I had to put the headphones back on because I remembered. All right, so we can go left or right. I'm gonna go left. I think I may have accidentally gone the correct direction. So go to the other side. Skating my way through. Nope. Nope. I was correct. That's a dead end. I don't even know if there's random encounters in here. I'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Yes, there is. What type of random encounters are we talking about? Deep ones. Great. We're dealing with Cthulian mythos again. Japanese really like Cthulian Mythos for some reason. I'm, I'm not going to disagree. I actually quite like it myself outside of um, Lovecraft being a racist asshole, but just... Uh, oh, right. I should look up. I even still have... Yes, I do still have that guide open. Wait. Uh, Drifter Guide, Deep One. I want to say there's something special about them. Deep Ones. Yes, yes there is. They have good loot. How are deep ones? 38. Wow. Thousand hit points. Weak against thunder. Ow. Hurt. Brutal blow. Crap. That could actually hurt a lot. That wasn't as bad as I was fearing, but kind of sucky. This trickster. And heal jack. Punch that one. Okay. I'm gonna shift this over a bit. Jeez. Mm. Oh, you hit Rudy, that might actually. Ooh. Rudy didn't like that. Their death did. And with a lot of XP and money. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, they drop an Aqua Ring, which is the reason why I'm going. Ooh. Right? The treasure chest was over here. Treasure chests, apparently. Nice. Did you hear it? And yet another lucky card. At some point, I will actually use a lucky card, by the way. I don't know when. Apparently, I have my work email open somewhere. That was that notification. No loot on this floor. Oh. Okay, we're back at the entrance floor. 
Go loot here. Got a sliding block puzzle. So what I need to do for the sliding block puzzle is, I think I can point things out with my mouse, yes, okay. So what I need to do is move this one all the way over, the only way to be able to slip by and out. Which means this block can't move, because that block can't move, this is going to be the one that I'm going to need. Oh, this or this. Me pushing this this way does no good, move this. There we go. That's good. That'll work. Hooray, mouse cursor. That's helpful. That's not a good sign that there's a save point in here. This is not a long dungeon. But, probably means that there is some type of bad person. And I forgot to copy my saves, so I'll have to do it after this video. Probably fine. If not, I have the overlap of the second save slot. Alright. I think down over to the right to get some more loot. This is one of those dungeons that you can only enter once, if I remember right. More deep ones? More deep ones. Oddly enough, Flash actually helps me in this case, now that I think about it. Because counterattacking more often means that I'm going to kill them before I can steal anything from them. And I could just sit here and trickster constantly. Which is honestly tempting. But I got what I needed. I got an Aqua Ring. Uh, so I believe I already have one aqua ring, so what I really want to do is make sure I grab the second. Now I can have it equipped and also use it in combat. Uh, eventually I'm going to get four of them. Though I might not do that for the aqua ring. Thinking about it. Is there anything fun that I can mystic? Let me check my mystic list. I don't even have that open. How dare I? Put up the one note. Mystic. Bolaro. Bolaro. Um, Bolaro. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, mouth's a bit dry. Okay, yes, I have all of these. Um, actually, we'll just do that. I don't think it's going to live through then anyway. But if it does, then I'll start regening, and that'll be helpful. Anger! Nope, it didn't live anyway. Oh well. So much loot from these folk. I might have accidentally gone the correct direction. Press graph. I mean, at some point they'll be useful again. The weird thing. Um, ooh, Nagas are here. Okay. What do Nagas have? Have anything cool? No. No, they don't. I haven't analyzed them yet. Seriously, why did Agas meow when you hit them? Doesn't Suikoden 1 use the same sound effects library? Along with um, Daggerfall. Now, there's a couple of other games that use the same sound effects library. 
I'm sorry, the headache is causing me to not be able to focus as easily. What the hell? I guess everybody attacked Rudy and I didn't notice. Well, if they live through this round, which I don't think they're going to. Not like this, that's for sure. Yeah. Time. Also, they're not worth as much money as the cheap ones. Okay. Very simple sledding block puzzle. Reward is crest graph. You'll frequently find that there's a lot more crest graphs in. Um, I'm just running back because I'm pretty sure I went the correct direction instead of the incorrect one, like I want to do. Um, you'll find crest graphs a lot more often in Guardian Shrines, which makes sense. Ah. Yeah, I don't have the item for this. I think I actually do need to go back the other direction. Aqua Leapers! Aqua Leaper. Aqua Leaper. You have potion berries. Eh. Don't really need them. Might as well analyze. Eh, you know what? Let's be honest here. Everything in here is weak against lightning. And really, I should probably be equipping spark rings on Jack and Rudy right now. I freeze! Ugh! Oh, they're not actually that strong. Oops. Well, now they're very dead. They took less damage than I thought. They must be very resistant to magic. Isn't that right, Maya? Meow. Okay, so I need to get... Um, Cecilia's last tool to be able to get, do anything here. Every character has four tools in the game, and Celia is the one that gets her fourth tool first. It takes a long time for Jack to get his fourth. Basically the end of the game, if I remember right. That's because his fourth tool is very important for triggering hidden content, and not at all useful for anything else. I don't even think it's required, now that I think about it. See how much this does. Ah, yeah, that was probably worth equipping. That's nearly one shotting. Ah, uh, especially when they could do that. Apparently, perk dead. Welp. Guess that's one way of curing Flash. Uh, it's not that big of a deal if Rudy doesn't get the XP for this. If by a miracle you're still alive. Yeah, didn't think so. This looks wrong when Rudy's face planted during this. At least Cecilia's not doing a booty wiggle. So yes, um, this was something I was curious about, and I was thinking about doing a Let's Analyze, but I don't need to now. If one character is down, they don't get the XP. But the other two do. That's the important part in my mind. So... You'll notice that Rudy automatically revived himself. You actually don't need to, nor can you, recast revive out of combat. That'll do. Good one. Okay. One's annoying. But these are all still very simple concepts. Simple sliding block puzzles. And because Cecilia has a watch, you can't really mess that up. Crestgraph? Crestgraph. How many Crestgraphs do I have right now, anyway? 
nine. Oh boy, I am going to have a field day when I can start using advanced crest magic. Of course, I'm gonna have to remember where in the world that was. Deep ones. You know what? I'm still gonna trickster because I can always use more. Also, this allows me to test something else. I get to test things. I get to analyze during my episode. Yep. So there was a theory that I was trying to figure out. Um, I already know that when Jack uses most of his uh, abilities, that it doesn't have an element associated with it. So like Sonic Blast, even though Jack has a Spark Ring equipped right now, um, obviously didn't do extra damage. Needed the Trickster. The reason why I wasn't sure on Trickster is that it's a normal attack. Oh, if everybody's still alive, I might as well... Maybe I'm gonna actually turn this into a guide, because nobody has the Mystic List. Um... I don't know if these are actually all that useful. I'm going to Mystic Potion Berry. Do that. I don't think it's gonna loop though. No. No, that's a one shot. Why is Facebook saying that I have a bunch of notifications? Because apparently I do. Oh well. Um I don't really need healing that bad. More crest graphs. All right, so we need to scoot on by, push that down. These in their respective spots. Ah, I messed that up. I didn't need to push that down. Boy, I just need to scoot on by. I don't need to push it down again. There we go. I only messed up one of these so far. That's not too bad. Crestcraft, Shining Cape. Assuming that this is, yeah. I'm gonna Mystic it first. that not work? I must have just not been aligned correctly. Yep. Vase acquired! Magic vase. When used by Cecilia, it produces an endless flow of water. You can use it to put out those difficult fires. Also, it kind of looked like she's just relieving herself. Especially when that angle hits. Creepy. Anyway, all it does is put out fire. There's nothing else that it does. Probably the weakest tool in the game in my mind. She doesn't use it very often. Okay. The, the reason why I wanted to know if I can strip out the element using Trickster is that that's a really good reason to drop Trickster to 1 MP. Because now I have a 1 MP way of ignoring the element ring that I'm equipped with. So, for an example, I wanted to make Jack absorbing water, I would do this. So normally, I'm assuming that it's probably absorbing water. So I can use Trickster, which will strip out the element. And I'm not doing much damage. Like Cecilia actually did more damage than Jack now that I'm looking. But now, Jack will start absorbing the element. And uh, you're brutal blowing me, Rudy. Uh, why do I hate Rudy so much? What did Rudy ever do to them? 
Alright. Where's it at? Why am I not seeing it? Um, you know, I'm tired and all, but... Oh yeah, so other thing. I actually meant to record this yesterday, but... There it is. Finding Cape is offensive. Just defensive. I know Trickster is not going to kill it. Shining Cape is offensive. Flash! Alright! Congratulations on your reduced ability to counterattack. That's a terrible ability. Well, I guess with the name Shining Cape, that kind of makes sense. Now I'll equip the Shining Cape and find out what Cecilia's other one does. I don't actually know what the Ruby Bish does. I'm gonna guess some type of fire magic. Which I'm probably gonna trigger one more battle in here. I could avoid it by using the uh, skates, but I don't want to. Okay. Thunder Ring. Build the Naga. Build the Naga. Ready to defend. We're gonna figure out these mystic things. I just don't want. I just want the Naga dead since it can instant kill things. Water gun. All right, defend mystic. It at this time. Ruby Bish. I didn't get a choice on the target. But that's all? Do I have another one that has field? That'd be a little weird, but I suppose it's possible. Let me write this down. Anti magic. Ooh. I was not expecting that. Anti magic completely eliminates the use of all magic, which uh, could be extremely useful in some cases, actually. And it's not a spell I can cast right now. might have actually been really useful for certain earlier battles. So I've had the Rupee Bish equipped for a while now. Hmm. So Cecilia's thing is always the do I equip something versus do I, um, whatchamacallit, use it. Let's go ahead and I'll just save again. Or do I use it as Mystic, sorry. Am I doing 34 minutes? Okay. I'm in the dragon trap. Alright, first off, put that out. And good ventures go left. did not help me. I think I can make this work a little better. Okay. 
I pushed that other lower block a little too far. I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, this will work. Uh, no! Didn't mean to use the watch, I meant to use the pot. the other side. This isn't a very long dungeon, which is why I'm okay with kind of going overboard on attacking things, using a lot more magic than I used to. Spark should do decent damage. Eh, not great. Good enough, though. Hmm. Lots of leveling, though. Maybe I should sit here for a little bit longer and do some grind fest, but I really don't want to. Okay. Partial push. Full push. Full push. Alright. Welcome, warrior. I'm innocent. I am Lucada. Lucadia? Lucada? Lucadia. Who is the eternal flautist? Who's I am the eternal flautist whose music permeates the oceans from the depths of the dragon shrine. A teardrop in its rightful hand called you over here. No, I came here because I was bored. Mother has been defeated and now is uh, and is now my nourishment. Om nom nom! Nom, nom. Yet the dreams of the demon race are not over. Tell me, Lucadia, what are they planning to do now? How was Siegfried going to destroy the Guardians? The Ray Line. So that's not, that's a mistranslation. Um, for those of you that may not have been able to catch it immediately, like I probably should have if I had played this when I was older, it's supposed to be ley line, not ray line. It's the artery of life which connects all of us together and maintains all life on the planet. After our strength had weakened, we decided to combine our strength through a device the Elu had left behind. From inside the Elu pyramid, the energy network began to pump life energy throughout Kilgaia. <laughs> and we've And if we sever this ley line, we can clean this planet for good. Yep, it's Harkin time. I'm not sure about this, Seek, but here goes nothing. Harkin! I came for your for the big fish, the Sea Guardian, but this is a pleasant surprise. I always wanted to fight you again. We are meant for each other, you and I. We are both born to fight. On guard! Let's see what you've got. So, Harkin is a very interesting style boss. Also, she looks badass, but um, the reason why she's so interesting... Ah, crap, I should have cured Flash ahead of time. Oh, well. Um, the reason why she's so interesting is that she's um, fast. Really fast. Faster than Jack's Accelerator fast. Sometimes. If you come here at a low enough level, you cannot possibly go faster than her, even with Accelerator. I think I'm high enough level where I can accelerate beyond her, but she's always going to go first. Other thing is that Lady Harkin always, and I mean always, has good loot. So, um, I believe I'm just double checking to make sure I'm not speaking a lot. Yeah, she has a secret sign in her inventory. So my number one concern is trickstering that out of her. Secret signs are so rare at this point of the game. Uh, Harkin is a melee character, so I'm going to be focusing on shield. I don't suppose I happen to have high shield on a mystic item? That would be nice. No. No, I don't. Crap. Oh, this will, the second Harkin fight is much easier than the first because I can actually cast high shield. But I will have to deal with shield. 
Oh. First off, let's get the ring out of his inventory. The, the ring does not do any good. Hard guard, yeah. Also, let's make sure he has best. Okay, everybody has best luck. Good. Okay, that's Trickster. Cecilia is going to be on shield duty for a bit. And Rudy is going to punch. Be nice if it just worked on the first try. You'll notice how little damage I'm doing to her also. Wait, she's going last? What? She's supposed to be first all the time. Guilty Blade. Guilty Blade hurts. I mean, it doesn't hurt much, but it hurts. Ah. Uh, the one note keeps it intercepting my um, joystick commands for some weird reason. I don't know why. So it's not messing up the game, it just means that when I'm trying to do things, it'll start trying to insert in a clip from YouTube for some reason. Um, let's go ahead and shield some more. Actually, you know what? Let's try this theory out with Hyde. And Twin Arbor. Please just steal correctly. And I'm gone. Laser Silhouette! He actually hits pretty hard. Luckily, Rudy has gobs of hit points. Yet he doesn't even have the um, for power on. That wasn't that off much. Trickster. Cecilia, you're going to continue shielding yourself at the moment. Rudy, punch. Arkin has enough hit points where I'm not too concerned about this. I want to be able to steal. Laser Silhouette. He's already starting to speed up. Maybe that's what it was. Alright, Rudy needs healing next turn for sure. Trickster. Heal. Rudy. Hopefully Rudy will survive a hit. Arm lock on Twin Arms. Yep, she's now first. Ow. This trio? Dang it. Uh. That one's okay. 2,000 damage, jeez. I'm gonna actually have to start watching out for killing her too early. I'm actually gonna have uh, Rudy jump up to protect her, so that's force level 3. Because it'll be easier to just heal one character then. So far, Hyde seems to be doing its job, which is good. I would really like to be able to use Force Level 3 by now. Let's get Potion Berry for healing. Please just work. Dang it. I'm getting a little concerned about how many hit points does Harkin have? I can't see that. So yeah, Guilty Blade will still hit Cecilia, which sucks. But she has two shields up on her right now. Alright, Trickster. You're going to start casting shield on Rudy. Rudy, you're going to protect. Please just work. On. 
just want to steal it from you. On the plus side, Cecilia cured her flash, and Jack's about to. I'll start using Mystic. Uh, let me look at my Mystic list really fast. Yeah, let's lock state. I don't remember if she has any status effects, but she might. Um, holy robe. Or white robe. Holy robe is from Shadow Hunters. And Rudy. You know what? We're going to actually stick through this. I'm going to keep using Trickster until I can steal. The reason being is that I don't know how many hit points she has. I've already dealt about... 4,000 to 5,000 damage. Yep, lock state. So now I'm getting to status effects for the rest of combat. Look how little damage Rudy's taking now. Let's shield Rudy again. And I am going to take these items from her. Hi. I'm trying to wonder if I need to start speeding up the combat. Also, I just remembered for the first time to actually use a lucky card before combat's over. So, unless if this kills her, I'm going to actually be able to use a lucky card. Also, no, I don't want to answer it in a freaking YouTube video. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'll have Cecilia use it. Lucky card. I only have nine of them. And Rudy, just defend. I'm gonna have to Mystic Heal. Alright, Mystic Potion Berry next round. I know she doesn't actually um, drop any money. Rudy's now taking zero. Trickster. Mystic Potion Berry. Protect. I don't know if multiple protectors actually stack. I don't think they do, but. Not doing anything else. Ha See? She's invisible, and the boss still targeted her. I don't think it actually does anything. It's heads! I think all that does is... Yeah, why are you able to target Cecilia? She's invisible. Any of these useful? Not really. defend yourself some more. I'm going to take the stupid item from her. What is the chance of me stealing this thing anyway? Let me steal this already. In fact, I'm going to start fast forwarding. No, nope, don't quit. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe I should actually just have a button on my controller to control that. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And I guess. And steal. Uh, I'm gonna have to Mystic Potion Berry this round. And it's not much longer before I can just buy them, so that's not a big deal. Just let me steal the item already. Oh, got it. Sweet. All right. Now we can actually fight this boss battle. Should have, probably should have been armoring her down, but oh well. Um, arm lock on rocket launcher. Bonk. Wait. She's supposed to be faster than everybody. I don't know why she's not. Rocket launcher to the face. anything I can actually do that would be helpful. Not really, no. Um, Valkyrie. Lock on. Rocket launcher. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hits for six thousand damage. I guess I was wrong about you, baby. Go back to the ship with a blow from my Asriel. What? So yeah, I gave double XP and that was less than a random encounter. I, I, I can't move? Continue this way later, sweetheart. I don't know why her personality changes there, but... Oh, they were after the ley line. Not easy to destroy an entire planet, even for demons. Shaman child! Use my powers to defend your planet. Triton rune. Uh, Triton rune, I think, is... Uh, her technique looks just like my fast drum. But it looks a little different. That's the other thing that we get from Lady Harkin battles. Is that we get fast draws. Um, I think Triton rune is for Ruby. Nope, it's actually for Cecilia. I am going to equip it rather than the Death Rune, just because I keep not being able to do any of my summons. And I would like to actually be able to do so. Not to mention, she can use some more Vitality. Oh, right, need to get out. No. It hurts me to leave that one treasure chest. All right, we are at 53 minutes. I think we will do just a little bit of exploration in the outer ocean, and that will be it. I'm going to save in a new slot just because. And actually, I'm going to walk out because I want to trigger Jack's um, fast draw. Also, speaking of. Oh, she didn't drop the secret sign. So she also has a random drop of a secret sign, but it is random. Tricks her down to one. Sweet. Now I can actually use the rest of mine for, you know, things I want to do. I suppose the things I need to do, like steal stuff. I mean, I probably could have just kept Trickster at one, to be honest, but... Eh. Really, are none of these going to trigger a random encounter? I know the random encounter rate in here is pretty low. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be random encounters from water, but apparently it's going to be. Alright. And we are done with the dragon shrine. And now... We can go through. 
puddle in the floating in the water. In it's a message. South of here is the Isle of Conflict, where fighters level 30 and higher compete. So in Wild Arms 1, sort of 2, and definitely 3, there is an arena. And that's actually what's down here, is the arena. Item floating in the bottle. Grass graph! So yeah, at this point, most of the game is open to us. Must have missed the aisle. And we get the random encounters of the outer world, which are very similar to the ra or outer ocean, which is very similar to the random encounters of the inner ocean, only harder. Um, Horned Helm, do you have anything? Horned Helm, no, no, you don't. You have nothing. Sweet. A 16, but it hits everybody. By the way, if you couldn't tell, Harkin was using that ability on us. That's right, this was a surprise attack. I probably didn't need to do this. Oh well. Zap. Wow. Cecilia's normal attack. Er, Cecilia's spark is now weaker than Jack's normal attack. That's pretty sad. Also, they only give 600 Gela. Yeah, we're fine. Really need to remember to turn off work email. So, if you can figure it out, this is Rosetta Town. So, on the map, we're now finally hitting the bottom parts of all of these places. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and save it here. Also, heal up and save, I should say. We're back in business because our problems here are over! Yep, you can stay the night. We've got 15,000 yellow, which is nice. We're still a little on the poor side, though, because we keep donating money. Um, although I think Adelaide might be better now. Don't know. Um, one of the first things I'm going to do is... Well, there's a lot of things open to us now. So I want to make sure that we don't... Okay, I need to use some small flowers. Or not. Okay disappeared bring trade back to the area again no thank you no nothing just yeah yeah thanks huh. anyway let's go ahead and save an exit now hope you've enjoyed this internet and i'll talk to you next time oh why is my nose so itchy full side my headache's gone away which is nice gonna save over the spot because we do have one prior in the dragon shrine and all i've done really is gone out all right and time to stop recording bye maya says bye too bye. oh and the reason why maya is here is that he seems asleep on the couch and i didn't want to wake him bye